attention. I disagree with that. This is different. I want y'all to understand that this goo right here, goofy, goofy ass dude, disrespected the honorable Elijah Muhammad. This man disrespected on multiple occasions, disrespected the honorable Elijah Muhammad. And y'all gonna keep going on this show? <laughs> this dude right here disrespected the honorable Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He says, <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on my, he's laughing, I'm almost sure Dr. King did not get assassinated on a balcony to help him with child support payments. Now, do you understand, one, bro? Do you understand that we as black culture are coming on to your show and you sitting off camera trying to bait us? into talking shit about each other and going at each other. You're trying to bait us. All the, all the people that went to jail after they came on your show. Because the feds, you work for the feds. You're going into with details about their court case, about a shootout around RICO acts, or anything that's going on. Everybody that come on your show they go to jail. See, I don't bother nobody. And I'll say, okay, you know, I'm going to leave that shit alone. Then you come at me again. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to take the high road, man. I'm going to leave that shit alone. Then you're going to come at me again. So what part of me going through a divorce is funny, dude? What part of me... Going to court as a black man in the presence of a racist judge who abused his power and ended up giving outcomes of my court case beyond the scope of the law that he can do as a sitting judge. What part of that shit is funny? You know how many black people are in jail right now because of the criminal justice system or the family law court system? You as a white boy, you don't deal with the courts. So what makes my situation funny? Got it. So guess what? If you rappers and you singers and you actors decide to look the other way for somebody who continues to disrespect us as black culture, going on and going to get your money, he offered me 10000 He's making, I, dude, they, they, they all in my comment. They said the dude's net worth is five million. Five million. You got five million off of black culture while putting us in jail, while laughing at us when we go to court and we deal with the judge beating our heads in and throwing us in jail. Yeah, culture vulture. You fucked time, didn't you, bro? I don't need nothing from you, bro. You can't ever do anything to ever make a difference in my career platform nigga i said it and every rapper and singer out there stand with your brother huh y'all see what happened right y'all see what happened every time anything is said about their community they'll all band together and shut your ass down but you gonna let that guy from that community continue to disrespect black culture and you're gonna keep taking your goofy ass on the show yeah you got an album to promote yeah you got a single coming out what a racist who's baiting us as black culture into going at each other boosie that's my nigga i ain't never met him either but i just seen him on the freeway in the atl he a real nigga like me He's sitting there like, hey, you know what happened with Tyrese? <laughs> Boosie looking like he keeps going and going and going and going. The interview this dude and did, bringing my name up out the blue. You got your head so far up my ass. How does my shit smell, nigga? You know? 
all of the press and media and blogs are all going in because they all agree. You offered me 10000 to come and do an interview. If you as black culture going to keep going on his show with a racist who keeps disrespecting the shit out of Muhammad, I, the honorable Elijah Muhammad gets disrespected on this nigga show. He disrespected Martin Luther King. I know, I know he didn't go to heaven and get assassinated on the balcony to, for child support. Must out to no attorney Benjamin Crump to help me with no child support payments. You fuck. I never reached out to no Martin Luther King III and told him to come on some child support shit. I'm trying to shed light on a racist judge sitting at the bench abusing his power. And attorney Benjamin Crump is my brother. He doesn't officially represent me, but we reached out to him for advice about what can we do to get rid of a racist sitting judge who abused his power. You gonna laugh? Talking about Dr. King didn't get assassinated on a balcony? On behalf of fighting for child support payments? You f Y'all gonna take y'all goofy ass on his show all you want. He gonna keep profiting off of black culture. And y'all gonna sit there and keep laughing on camera looking stupid. Dude's worth five million dollars. How much he paying you to do this? Y'all know they run ads on YouTube, right? Y'all know the clickbait is not nonstop. You think you need to be on his show in order to put your album and your song and your single on the map? You crossed the wrong one this time, bro. Anybody who disrespect the honorable Elijah Muhammad, the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan, Yeah, I said it. He paid me. He was about to pay me 10000 I wish you would go and do his interview for free. Any rapper and singer out here, any actor, whatever you're trying to promote, get your money. If you're going to be out here getting used, use black culture, pay me. I don't do shit for free. Pay me. It's a wrap. 